Hey, Shalom, Israel. First off, I would like to say, call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing this word and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and sincerely believe, Shalom to you as well. Uh, I was just meditating in the spirit on this lesson of how pretty much the, the elect, the hopeful elect, uh, should I say humbly, that have been sealed with this word that are going out and teaching and prophesying of the destruction that's soon to come against great Babylon, man. We're in the best position. We have all of the answers through the spirit of prophecy. We know what the hell was going on. So as this current world is collapsing and everybody's perplexed and not having any answers as to what's going on, the nation of Israel or rather the elect of the nation of Israel, our stock is on the rise, man. So that's why brothers should uh, have a spirit of joy and of, of, of hope towards the, the things that's to come as far as the destruction of Great Babylon. Of course, we're going to be tried in that process, but ultimately it's going to uh, lead up into, uh, to salvation and then being set up in the kingdom of heaven, man, to rule in an everlasting righteous empire, man. So it's a beautiful time. We're on the rise right now for brothers, you know, that go through bouts of maybe depression uh it's certain burdens that just are on you that it just seems like you just uh, can't come from up under man but this is all just excitation through the spirit for the uh sincere brothers just to keep pushing man understanding that we're almost at the finish line and we're on the rise man as esau falling our stock is dramatically going up man and i'm gonna just start off here in revelations the seventh chapter because the lord will show signs of how we're closer to the end and the, and the returning of his son, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is here in Revelation and Revelation means to pull back the veil to reveal. And the scriptures also says that the man of sin is, uh, is being revealed, which we know that the man of sin is talking about a collective nation of people known biblically as Esau Edom, which are the soap called white people today. So as Esau's kingdom goes down, uh, Jacob is being established. We're being raised up right now. But uh, it's all through the spirit of the word going out. That's the prelude to everything that's about to happen. This is Revelation 7. And I'll start at verse 1. It says, and after these and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And those winds is talking about that uh, that destruction, that thermonuclear destruction. I believe it also uh, when you go into Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, it expounds on that. It proves that the winds is going to be the, the, the thermonuclear destruction. It says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And that's what's happening right now, man. The, 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 the Most High's elect, the, the servants of the Most High is being sealed through this word, man. It says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So. The, the most high said in his word that in order before the destruction to come, his elect men would have to be sealed up with this word. And I know I've heard Apostle Tahar say it uh, multiple times right now. He feels through the spirit that the elect has been sealed and that has to have a measure of truth to it because the word has gone out throughout the four corners of the earth through the Internet, through YouTube being a platform to spread the most high's word. Throughout all of the different nations where Israel has been scattered. So we're at the time right now where the Lord is about to visit the earth. The destruction of America is about to uh, take place, man. Why? Because this word is being pushed at a high level and the, and the servants of the Lord are being raised up, man. Our stock is on the rise. We're being raised up as an exceeding army because that's what has Esau or rather the elite of Esau, Edom. That's what has them trembling right now, you know, trying to f uh, figure out a way to try to trap us up and really uh, try to come at us, man. You know, 
But it's all through the, the, the messengers of the Most High being sealed with this word. That's one of the major steps before the destruction. And of course, we understand that other prophecy has to come to pass, namely the thing that we've been going into lately, you know, and not even just lately, but we always stayed on on cue of, of prophesying about the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Once that RFID microchip is made mandatory, all bets are off for this place as well. But even before we get to that process, the, 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 the servants of the Most High have to be sealed with this word. You know, we have to be raised up. And that's what's happening right now, all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Even got you even have Jake that don't necessarily know the scriptures that don't uh, understand our doctrine in this word. But you got all different types of platform of Jake just speaking out on all of the heinous atrocities of this government and of this devil, man. All of the different wicked things that this devil is doing, whether it be the vaccinations, you know, just the draconian laws and legislation that's being passed to, to, to take more of your rights away, you know. You can't just uh, run game on, on Jake. And when I say Jake, I'm talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Even those with that or without this truth, they're starting to rise up and, and become woke because uh, being woke is a term that gets loosely taught to, to tossed out there. Because ultimately, you're only woke if you have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Bible via the spirit of prophecy. But the point being made is... The most highest people is being raised up and all through the first fruit, which is the elect being sealed with this word. I want to get something in Psalms. So like you, I can <clears throat> might have passed it up. This is Psalms. I think it's in 94, I believe what I want to get. This is Psalms, the 94th chapter. And I'll start at the 16th verse. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So that's what you have going on right now, man. You have the elect who've been called into this faith to go out and prophesy and preach and wake our people up, man, to show our people their sins so that the elect among our people can repent and come into this fold, man, so we can get the hell out of here, man. No one's doing what we're doing and really uh, having a backbone and standing up against all manner of adversity for righteousness sake. Now, you got a lot of Jake out there using different uh, podcasts and platforms to speak some measures of truth. And that's cool. But really, the, 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 the true message that our people need to be hearing of, of repenting and returning to the Lord, you know, only the servants of the most high, the hopeful elect are standing up for our people, man, standing up. Against the evildoers and, and against the workers of iniquity, man. Knowing that we can be faced with imminent death for doing what we do, man. We putting our lives on the line to stand up for against wickedness, for all manner of wickedness, man. So that's an indication to who, who the Most High's elect uh, would be in the latter days. Those that, men that would stand up boldly for the name and testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, preaching His word, man. No matter what the the cost would be, no matter what types of threats. On their on their lives, man. Those that love not their lives to death on this side. That's what's happening right now. I'm gonna go to another scripture. I'm gonna get a uh, second Ezra. <clears throat> and all simultaneously, as the Lord's men are being raised up, Esau's kingdom is falling down, and that's a beautiful thing. That's something to rejoice over, man. We're seeing it. This whole COVID-19 crisis, man, is, is, is really exposing the, 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 the character and the sentiment of America, man. And it's also uh, shaping the, the new world to come, man. You know. I'll start. This is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and uh, 7. It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? And when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So Ezra is asking the angel, basically, when is going to be the end of the current world? And when is going to be the beginning of the world that's going to come after? And that's what we feel like in the spirit, the elect that are standing up for this word, man. We don't want uh, things to go back to so-called normal. We want this ordeal 
to to play out. We we hasten the return in the coming of our Lord. We hasten the return or we hasten that the will of the Lord is being done on the earth. We hasten the, that the RFID chip is made mandatory. We hasten the day where the destruction comes, man, because we know that as soon as we get through uh, those obstacle courses, we get that much more closer to the kingdom of heaven being established in a righteous, everlasting kingdom. Verse eight, it says, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that's the point being made. Esau, Edom, the so-called white people that control the world, the wicked who was given rulership at this point at a point in time. We're at the end of their world. Their whole society and their grip on the world as we know it is, is collapsing, man. It's falling right before our eyes. And in the midst of it. You have the, 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 the Jacob, which uh, is synonymous with the nation of Israel. Start with the elect who have received this word. We're on the rise right now, man. You know, we're on the rise right now. And it's a beautiful time. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump down further in this verse or in this chapter to get a little bit more. This is second Ezra six and I'm going to jump to 18. It says, and it said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. So we're in those days. We're in those latter days. That's why Habakkuk, the second chapter, said the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. We're at the end. You know, the Lord is showing all different types of signs from heavens that he's about to send his right hand to visit this earth, man. But one of the things that had to happen before the, the Lord uh, sent his son to visit that to visit this earth is that the elect would have to be sealed with this word that's the whole point being made the elect is on the rise right now the hopeful elect is on the rise it says and will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of zion shall be fulfilled so inquisition basically means to investigate to scrutinize basically Esau Edom is being uh, put on trial right now for all of his different deeds all of his wicked atrocities man he's being put on trial before the ultimate judge Yahweh why Yahweh Shah you know and it says and when the affliction of Zion shall be fit shall be fulfilled and we know that Zion that's the monument of the most high that represents the nation of Israel man so our affliction is almost accomplished man you know, all the hell, the rape, robbery and murder and oppression that we have to suffer, man, that's about to be lifted off of our head. And it's going to be put on the head of our mortal enemy, Esau Edom. And then also the other uh, 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 lower level heathen nations, man. But the point being made is that the elect is on the rise, man. Our affliction is almost accomplished. And this current world that we in right now is falling before our eyes, man. I want to get another scripture because you got simple peon so-called negroes latinos and native americans man they want things to return back to normal they want to go back to work you actually got jakes that really are enthused about going back to work which i do get it because jake you know anybody in this flesh you want to be comfortable but man but the men of the Lord who understand this truth, we, we understand that this current world is not the end all be all. We're looking for a righteous kingdom to be established, man. And this wicked cesspool of a kingdom to be destroyed. And if you're in that, if you're not in that mindset, you pretty much through, man. The Lord is going to find a way to do uh, without you, you know. Because right now, as it stands, the elect, the hopeful elect, should I say, who have received this word and are out preaching, man, we're the only ones that should really have a platform and a voice to speak because we have the answers through the spirit, man. You know, our stock is rising. We're the high commodities right now, man, in the midst of all of this uh, calamity, confusion, all of this uncertainty, you know. So it's a beautiful time, man. I know brothers have been saying this a lot lately, but it's, it's just beautiful times, man. For some, I'll say beautiful time for some and not so beautiful time for others. You know, it just all depends where you line up through the spirit. 
But I'll get this real quick and I'll, I'll end the lesson. I just want to speak briefly. This is Isaiah 13 and 11. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. So a majority of the people within this world that's controlled by Satan, man, they're going to have to die. And even these elites, man, they have something called the Georgia Guidestones or uh, population control. That's why they're coming with all of these different uh, bio biological uh, weapons like vaccines and things of that nature to try to get rid of a lot of these people, man. And then the Most High is just going to allow a lot of pestilences and, and plagues to curse this place to, to, to get rid of these people as well, man. So the majority of the people within this world, they're going to die, man. That's just the point being made. Just as in the time of Noah, the Lord, he flooded the inhabited, the entire inhabited earth at that time and only saved eight people. You know, the second death is about to come. Only the Lord is going to destroy the world as we know at this time by fire. I'm going to read it again. This is Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And we know that the wicked pursuant to uh, Job 9 and 24, this the scripture says that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Who's ruling the earth by process of elimination? That's Esau Edom, the so-called white man. It's not the so-called Chinese, man. Even though it appears on paper that the Chinese, they hold uh, a lot of U.S. debt. That's only in theory, man. Behind the scenes, it's these uh, rich, elite Edomite families who's controlling things, man. Them damn Moabites in, in China, they're not ruling a damn thing, man. As far as world dominance is concerned. It says... And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And we know that the nation of Esau, Edom, they're the proudest nation of people on the planet. But they're about to be brought low. They're being brought low. But simultaneously in that process, the elect of the nation of Israel, we rising up, man. We're on the rise. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And it's not talking about any man when it says here that I will make a man more precious than fine gold. It's talking about uh, one of the most highs elect within the nation of Israel who've been sealed with the testimony of Yahweh Shah, who can receive, understand and, and, and speak and teach and prophesy his word. You know, it's not talking about any man. Only the, the hopeful elect is being raised up and uh, put in a, in a valuable uh, category being precious than fine gold so brothers it's, it's really time to just lock in of uh, use this whole quarantine situation as a uh, time to just build up your mind your body your spirit so that we can come out even more excellent than with the most high through our different measurements has already allowed us to be through the spirit man we should be really excelling over these people in every aspect of life because we have the answers man you know, so you really got to uh, 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 really believe that, man, and have faith that the Lord is, is working a marvelous work. And he's using us, the brothers that's preaching his word, who sign and crying for all of the abominations that be done in the midst of the land, that the Lord is using us as a vessel to do his ultimate will, man. So I just wanted to speak just on how it's a beautiful thing and how we're on the rise as Esau's kingdom is, is being destroyed, man. So hopefully this uh, exhorted brothers to continue pushing. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to their hopeful elect.